you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to talk about the trading uh, show that we just did uh, today, uh, a couple hours ago, three hours from uh, 9 to 12. This was our, supposed to be our first trade of the day, folks. I wanted to, to go through it with you because you can see here the Japanese yen has broken out to the upside. We've exceeded all of these things in here. But what I was looking at this morning here was a 60-minute chart on this thing. And as you can see here, if you believe in some of the things we look at, we were setting here. Here we were here on uh, this evening right here. This is where we were uh, early this morning. We were getting ready to uh, look at the trade. And it was setting right there at that 56.90 level. And I took one look at this and I said, oh, my goodness. Fortunately, we had some really smart folks in the, the room there that were pretty good at that. And they brought it and said, hey, uh, Teach, how about looking at that 382 that occurred here yesterday? And look at this, the 382 from this low. You see this big pullback right here? Stopped exactly at the 382 and the way it went. And I said, oh, we are wrong here. We got out with a three pip loss. And all I, 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 someone asked, should we go long? And I said, probably yes, but you know, who knows what's going to happen? That's basically it. Uh oh, I'm giving an idea that I'm talking about something that nobody can see. God bless you all for reminding me. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. Can you hear me okay? I am here. Hold on just a second. I hope you can hear me. Oh dear, this is always. Uh, a problem when you have technical stuff with Pesavento involved because I uh, am a tiny bit uh, tired too because of all the work that's been going on here. Hold on a second here. Now I think we can hear it okay. Uh, MC, please let me know. Miss Pepperoni, please let me know that you can uh, see this Japanese yen chart. Okay, uh, I guess so. I guess it's all right. Anyway, this is what we were looking for here, but this tells us that the Japanese yen is going to go to 158.74 next week. Now, whether that means anything or not, I don't know, but this is a monster move that we're seeing right now. You can see from the 24th, 25th, we pull back right here. You have to blow it up to see it because you had your low. Then you had your high right here. We could just draw this a little differently so you can see it the way that it should be drawn mathematically or geometrically. You have your low way back here. So we're going to mark that right here. Got some questions to cover today. So there's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. And there's your number right up there. 158.70 is what we'll be looking for for a pretty good trading opportunity. Uh, we should have went long here uh, right at the moment, but we had good trades. I, I, I was, the, the best trade of the day was a trade we made the mistake on. I said, no, 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 no. I said, this is wrong. I've made a mistake. And at the time, I should have said, why don't we just go long? And you can see, boom, it exploded to the upside. But let me explain to you why it was so much fun in there today. Let me get, get rid of this. But I this is the one that's, uh, this is the gold. Uh, excuse me, that's not, uh, hold on one second here. That is not the uh, one that I wanted to get here. Hold on one second. I need to uh, get up here and uh, take a look. Hold on one second. I want to grab this. Uh, where is the euro? Because this is the one that was, th no, the dollar index was the one we wanted to start with. When we started the show, um, this is kind of how we like to start out. Now, this is what I said because we were having a real interesting time because the people were talking about the new low in the U.S. dollar today. And I said, folks, that new low in the U.S. dollar should be really respected. First of all, we believe in market repetition. This is a daily chart of the dollar index. You can see we had a move like this to the downside. We had a move like this. 
and we had another move exactly the same. Do you see those three exact same moves? Well, those are the ones that we were watching the closest. And what we did was we said, well, the last time we had one of those moves, we pulled down. Where did it stop? At the 382 retracement. So if it's following the same program and nothing changes, I guess, if you go from your last low, there it was today, almost exactly at the 382 retracement after nine days down, folks. Now, the reverse of that is the euro, and that's what we were trading. So hold on here. Of course, there was a report that came out at uh, – 5.30. By the way, we're going to be doing these from 8 o'clock in the morning until 11, so we can be there during the uh, time of the uh, of the trading that goes on with the uh, – hold on one second here. Get this up. You'll be able to see it without too much trouble. Here's where we are. This is the euro. We're going to look at it on the daily because this is the same thing we saw before. Here's where we were. This is the euro. I'm going to bring this up and move it up so we can see it. All we're to do is going to get rid of this. You can see that Gartley right here. We'll just get rid of that one. And all we were doing here was watching these ABCD patterns form. You can see one right there. Now we were looking for a rally. Okay, the last rally took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. This rally has taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days to get this far. That is not very much of a rally. And if you look and see how its market repeats, it should get just about to today's high. Well, that in itself looks pretty good, but we had some smart folks in the room and said, hey, this thing is a 382. So what we want to do is to show it to you. I was a poet and I don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. Okay, there's the number that we're looking at right there. That's all part of this. We're going to get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. And so what we need to do now is to basically just look over here. Hold on one second, and I'll be able to – got to double-check something out. And I think we just fine. Hold on just a minute, and we'll be right there. Here's where we are. You see we came right here, which is, believe it or not, from your high that you made right here to the low right down there, exactly 382. And it dropped well over $1,000 today, folks. You can see it's been going down all day. We've had a tiny bit of a bounce here towards the end of the day, and that is the key word. You can see that's just a very, very small uh, bounce. So that's a main thing to uh, sort of keep our eye on as we're watching these things here unfold here this morning. So that's why the dollar index is so important because it's cash money moving, and they move it through the euro. 53% of it, of course, is the euro. So that's it. Since we're looking at this, we should check to see – what the 382 pullback would be on this today, and that comes in just a little bit higher up at this level right here. You notice when you took out all of these lows here, that was a place where you want to be watching to uh, see that you'd have a pretty good spot to uh, get in and uh, take a good uh, a short side. Okay, now the other one we had that was really nice is we had a really beautiful buy here friendly hello and a goodbye what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back so stay with us Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I uh, back to talking about this thing. I'm, though I'm only going to be able to do the next segment, folks. I'm not going to be able to finish the show. I'm just going to do half because I am, I am literally exhausted because we had a really good trading day, but we were worked at it for three hours nonstop, and so and I was up several hours getting ready for it and watching things going on. But here was one of the trades we were looking at. This was the crude oil trade. As you can see here with nice ABCD pattern that uh, lined up very nicely. Uh, you sort of made you know several different patterns here. I'll draw this one in right here. There it is right there. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. And what we try to do is when we're doing these is to show that there's a great, see how each of the ratios is exactly, that's the square root of two. And I think that it's what's interesting here is that, you know, these are perfect. Now, if you looked at these in time, which we did, you go from your high. That's your first cycle right there. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and I'm going to extend it out. And you'll see now this is an hourly chart, half hour chart. So it didn't miss it by far from being the exact time. And all we've been able to do is to have a pullback today. This is one of the things that we did. As we went along, we went yesterday, of course, those of you that get the 24-7, uh, remember that we had a really nice uh, pattern that we set out in the video last night to be watching for this beautiful ABCD uh, butterfly down here. Well, it didn't draw it the way I wanted to, so stay with me here. We'll get it drawn a different way. The problem is, is it catches the wrong numbers. There it is right down there. Okay, there's your ABCD, boom, and then today we had another good trade. One of our folks in the room said, hey, let's take a look about buying the crude here at 86 and change. There's where we bought it, 86.50. Made almost $1,000 in it, made $600. Now we have our stop at 86.50, break even or taking half profits. I suggested because it was late in the day to probably take half profits. That way you'd be sure of you know locking in some good money and we did and that's what the whole thing uh was all about mainly it's about risk control and uh making money and showing that these patterns repeat over and over again and you can see it on a smaller time frame because you're trading for only three hours 
And therein lies the rub. You must trade for during that time period. We had another interesting trade that uh, we've been following for quite some time here today. Has still working okay, but uh, just wanted to share with you. It's had some great volatility. This is the chart of uh, copper today. We've been seven seven handles up, seven handles down. If you look at copper on the long term daily, you know we just made new highs up into this area right here. Now, if we should close towards the end of the end of the pack here, that's a high probability that the market is going to open lower on uh, Sunday night or Monday. That's the way it looks because that is uh, what they call a uh, oh, it's a name and candlestick charting. It escapes me. Shooting star it goes up and ends at the bottom. Yeah, it's a shooting star. So if that happens, that would be they're hard to find those patterns. But we'll see if we can find another one here for you. Okay, here's a shooting star pattern right there. This was a shooting star pattern, but the market did open higher and then went lower. This one, shooting star. Okay, let's do one other one to see if we can find it right here. There's a shooting star right there. So they have a rel relatively good area of predictability if you're at one of the pattern completions. And we are certainly, as we look at that in copper, you know, it's done all of You can see the, or they, they've scattered a bit, but you can see the ABCD. There's your A leg right here. And then here's your B leg right there. Your C leg. Well, it's jumping around on me. But we'll get her fixed. And there's the D leg right up here. So that's what we're paying attention to here with uh, copper today. And then what we did is we went down to a smaller time frame to show that this is what we're doing now. On a smaller time frame, this is what's happening with copper. You'll see that we came down, all right, and what we do, we rallied up, and if this is really bearish, it's not gonna get any higher. The worst would be 3.82 or 50%. And if you drew that in, there it is right there, 50%. It stays there for a solid hour, folks, and this is where it is right now. If it turns really bullish on the end, then that means this thing is going to go a whole lot higher. Otherwise, it looks like there's going to be a sell-off coming. Now, it's still early in the day for sure, but there's that possibility. So let's uh, remind ourselves. By the way, next week, folks, we have three guests coming up. We're going to have uh, Peter Elides is going to be there. We're also going to have Stan Harley and Shane Smolian, the wolf trader himself, will be on as our guest next week, as well as doing the regular show. Our next show for live trading, which will be from 8 until 11 on March. Let's try it again. We're coming up to a new month already. May 10th, May 10th, from 8 until 11. You've got to be there when these reports are opening. I'll show you the reasoning why here, because we had a beautiful trade set up here in the – we'll get it up here so you'll be able to see it here. This is the – Treasury bonds. We'll get this up so you'll be able to see it. And there it is right here. You'll, I'm just going to bring it together so you can see it from the high that we made way back here on April the uh, 19th to the low today. Exactamundo. There it is right there. There's your 382 right here. Here's the report that came out. Give you a chance to get filled. And that's where we are right now. And that tells you we're heading down. we got to stop at break even now because this has the potential to be another AB equals CD leg. And those are the kinds we like to catch. This is very interesting because if you look at this in the context like we did with the euro, you're going to be able to see that same pattern that we look at so very much and love it so much is the 135 pattern. There's the 1. There's the 3. And here is the five. It comes in at the exact 382 of the whole move. Okay. And if we measure it from the high here, let's just blow it up so you folks can see how some of this Fibonacci mystery is. It's not a mystery at all. If you go from your high right here down to your low, the 618 comes in right on the high today. Okay, so there's our there's was our selling zone today at uh, where trouble is. By the time we came on the air, because this happened at 5:30, if we've been at five o'clock, our order wasn't setting there, we missed it. So we had to sell the 382 rally back, and it's worked, uh, and which has done okay. We'll get up here so you can see it. 
We sold that 382 rally back, right was here, went above it, didn't get stopped out, and this is where we're going uh, right now. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. And as I said before, I will finish up the show here in just a few minutes, and I think they'll do something like, I, I've, I really thought I was going to make it, folks, but I can't. I'm just tired. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Someone here in the house said you shouldn't do four hours live every day on a Friday. So let's keep our, keep that in mind. What we're watching here. So we'll see y'all see y'all on Monday, folks. May God bless. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security. Yeah, that was the whole thing of the futures were up huge earlier on. Uh, good. Success. I don't have to cancel it out. Usually, what I do is I put a line through uh, my through the. Uh, let me show you right here. <clears throat> Chat wave trend gauge right there. Um, looks a little messy, but everybody who knows my work knows that page. Look, there it is. So low reading, and I don't have to do anything. Here are high readings, and the next day you've got 
a sharp move up um, in the in the Dow in the S and P, and this is for the Dow to go negative. Now it's down 11. Okay, good success. Okay, within this context, here we go. I want to talk about different things that uh, I want to talk about. Uh, probably what uh, Tommy would want to be talking about. Let's just finish this SND. Yeah, it's acting quite well. It's just opened up 20 cents now. So um, I'm calling that a D because that was a phantom B. Now, what would normally happen is that would become a B. Under it, we've got an A and a B, and then you've got an overlapping wave. That should be a C, which says you should go to a D. But I like to be a little conservative. I use those phantom peaks when you've got parallel highs, especially when you've got a price uh, of a stock at $2.34 because it's important. So that becomes another A, another B, and this is now an E. And now we're a little ahead of the game. E, but that's important. And you've got the weekly chart, A, B, we've just started C. What do we get here? We've got, look at this. There's your A. Yep, everything's working. This is, a, you see, I love it when I've got a, a 